Welcome to the Austin LGBT Chamber of Commerce podcast. We are glad to have you joining us. I'm joined here today with uh, Colton Ashbrenner. Welcome, Colton. Hello, everyone, and happy South by Southwest time. Oh, my. I do love it. It's here. I love it. I was walking back from lunch, and there was a, a giant Ferris wheel being constructed, at, I think, like, third in Congress. Incredible. I love the craziness that South by Southwest brings. And moreover, I love the money that South by brings. It is like a 380 some odd million dollar economic impact to our city. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And I that- just like seeing all the all the pretty faces and <laughs> people from everywhere. Who think that the weather is gorgeous year round. Mm-hmm. Not. Yeah, little do they know. You know, uh, yeah, I was talking to somebody that uh, had just recently moved here. And I was like, they're like, oh, it's great. The weather's great. I love this mild winter. And I'm like, that's sweet, princess. Come talk to me in August. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's where we separate the rookies from those who really want to live here. But uh, I will say, though, um, South By has some good stuff. We've got some stuff. We'll get to that. But before we do that, I wanted to get to a little bit of some local news. And it's we got some craziness going on. So a prominent Austin businessman who started an automotive group was arrested Friday, February 29th on charges of felony arson uh, and a state offense of uh, burglary. His name is Dorsey Brian Hardiman, age 75, so you can do things over 70, just hope for you. He allegedly started a fire in the former Mellow Johnny's Bike Shop downtown on February 25th, according to the arrest affidavit reported by our friends over at KXAN News. Uh, bond was set at forty thousand dollars for the one charge and ten thousand for burglary. The TV station also reports that investigators interviewed the owner of Mellow Johnny's Bike Shop, who told the fire department that Hardiman was the owner of the property next door and had previously per- talked about purchasing that property at two four hundred Netches Street. Um. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Mellow got, Johnny's. There's a picture of him over on KXAN. And he does not look mellow. <laughs> well, is this the man that was arrested? <laughs> yeah. He's clearly not mellow. He is not mellow. Uh, and he's very apparently upset. And that, were you saying you like, this was like not the first time? Oh, yeah. So KXAN <laughs> also reported that he was identified as a person of interest in a second arson investigation just five days earlier. I, okay. So if you. I, I just didn't even understand. You're 75 years old. You've got nothing better to do than go around and burn down businesses. How very dare this man. Yeah. I mean, go to a rally, dude. Like, put your anger where it needs to be. Um, our friends over at the ABJ are going to be giving out awards on May 22nd over the Four Seasons. Uh, they are doing the Commercial Real Estate Awards. Not as sexy as the Oscars. Uh, but last year, they gave uh, awards to the Moody Center. And to the Google Tower. So if you're interested in seeing what new sexy awards being given out for a building, uh, the Commercial Real Estate Awards on May 22nd. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> I mean, I love architecture. Yeah. I love I love the Google building. I do love the, the sale. Yes. Sale. If we could play that song and not get hammered for it, I would. But yeah. Um, we need to get STG on here. We do. STG was the architect, uh, designer, whatever it is. Uh, that did the sale. They I can't think of a building members. as cool as that since then. No, like, I mean who before will that. Now I don't. I don't know. I can't think of anything that's like remarkable that I'm like, ooh, that's awesome. I do love um, that building on Rainy Street. I can't think of what it's called. It's black, has all the plants. Um, I think it's Is that just new? a number. No. I mean, like within the last five years, I would say, but I do like that building. That building's pretty. Okay. Okay. But I don't know this one that they're building on Cesar Chavez and Rainy Street area. That new one. It's it's looking pretty cool. So it could be the 2024 winner. Who knows? Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. I mean, you got to put a building together and in time to win an award, it's got to be sexy. It's got to look good. I will say I have an idea of a building that will not be getting the award. (laughs) (laughs) Across from us, we uh, we sit and we watch construction on this building downtown. 
Um, and it's been an interesting show of watching these guys trying to put this thing together. It has, I've never seen anybody sledgehammer windows in place. Yeah, it seems, <laughs> it seems not correct. It seems not right. Uh, in some other local business news, uh, rockets are flying in Cedar Park. Firefly Aerospace is building rockets, moon landers, and other outer space equipment. The company has raised about $650 million to date, has currently 700 employees, and plans to build others. So it's not just, not just down the valley that we're building rockets. We're doing it right here in Cedar Park. That is wild. All right. All right. Do we need this many people building rockets? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not getting I, on I'm any I'm not of getting them. on a rocket. I'm not getting in a submarine. <laughs> no. no, I'm certainly not getting in. Like there's a, what's Elon's new company where he's embedding a chip? Oh. It's not happening. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, and then in uh, continued business news, our friends here at uh, Bumble Incorporated, it's an awesome base Dating app company are laying off about 350 employees, a move attributed to a slowdown in some of the markets and what they call execution challenges as it attempts to innovate its brand. According to our friends at the ABJ, the company declined to comment on how job cuts would impact here in Austin, but about 80% of the 950 employees uh, it had starting in 2023 are outside of the United States, uh, according to their most recent annual report. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Sure, a lot of development developer yeah. types. More of the sales probably here in the States. But I, I feel like all these big tech companies, they over hire out of the gate and then kind of start pulling back once they refine what their model is. I know. It's sad. Yeah. I mean, I, I hope that our, our the upside is like if you're talented in tech in Austin, you know, you get your nice little package and then you wander across the street and there's another job. We do see a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, Austin's unemployment rates has historically hovered around three, three and a half percent, which does not include people who are doing gig work. So that means that Austin is fully subscribed for employment. So it is still an employee's market. If you are looking to work in Austin, it's still a good place to work. Don't let the layoff numbers scare you. Uh, and then in a final bit of news today, the Austin City Council is set, uh, voted on a resolution that directs the staff to plan for the creation of a new workforce development program looking to maximize Austin's ability to secure federal funding. Uh, this comes as like, we are looking at $25 billion to be invested in infrastructure projects from the airport to a light rail to uh, the transformation of I-35. You can learn more about the Jobs Academy at our friends at austinmonitor.com. That is our news roundup for this week on the show what's happening in chamber news so many things so many. um tonight is the 11th annual official south by southwest big queer kickoff party <laughs> at rain on fourth um it's gonna be a lot of fun doors open at 6 p.m love it DJ starts at 6 p.m. 8. for the old farts like me. Yeah, get yeah. a little get a little networking out of the way. Get a drink. <laughs> say hi to everyone. Uh, DJ starts at eight. Nice. And they go on until midnight. No. Uh, we have <laughs> DJ Reesh. Okay. And a drag show beginning at 10 p.m. Love it. Um, we are very grateful to our friends at HRC of Texas mm -hmm. for helping us put on this huge queer party. At it, South by. It's been historically, it's been one of the biggest parties uh, during South by Southwest. It is a badged event. Uh, but if you are a local yokel, no worries. Your friends here at the chamber will work some magic. Uh, definitely come find any one of the chamber staff, myself included, uh, to gain access to the event. But um, come early, stay late, wear glitter, do all the things because that the which 11th annual big queer party is is pretty amazing. Yeah. Just come hang out, be queer, yeah. kiki, have fun. <laughs> don't be mid. Yeah, don't be mid. <laughs> I learned that too, today. <laughs> <laughs> and then tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow morning we will be Saturday. at Cambria, downtown Austin, mm -hmm. which is right behind Rainy Street. New construction, beautiful. Have a great new restaurant. They're members of the chamber. Love it. 
Um, Maybe they could win the commercial real estate award. Maybe so. That rooftop <laughs> is pretty cute. Um, but we will be having a discussion at the Cambria. It is titled, We're So Over the Rainbow. Yes. Focusing on how brands can make a meaningful impact during Pride Month instead of rainbow washing. Right. Instead of just kind of bullshitting their way through. Yeah. And that uh, that panel is full of members. Panel is stacked. I saw that the other day. So good. Uh, we'll have Fiona Dawson moderating. Uh, Deirdre Walsh and Jackie Paget with IGC will be on the panel. And we will also have Juan Suarez from Southwest Airlines. Oh, and it, it, it's really good stuff. I know uh, the folks over at IGC are going to go and walk through some case studies, some real life examples of how how to not do this, how to not participate, <laughs> how to do it wrong. Uh, so that if you're attending South by, that's something you want to check out Saturday at Cambria. If you go to the South by app, you can just put in search bar LGBT. Our events are, I think, the, the top two that, that pop up. Uh, but be sure to show some love for all the LGBT events that are happening around the area. Uh, and you can always learn more about the South by events at our website at bostonlgbtchamber.com. Um, get out there, have fun. It's going to be a, it's beautiful weather. Like I said, we, we trick everybody. Uh, they, we, they think this is what it looks like year round. Um, join us every week on Friday for our podcast. We run through local news, chamber news. Uh, Amy couldn't be with us today. She's off doing chambery things, uh, but she'll be back next week. Uh, and we would love to hear from you. If you want to be a guest on the show, email us at info at Austin LGBT chamber.com. Of course, if you want to send, send some love and become a sponsor, we'd be we'd love to talk to you about sponsorship opportunities. Uh, but until then, we'll see you at South by. We'll see you at the big queer party. We'll see you at the panel. We'll see you everywhere. Come join us for luncheons, happy hours, do all the things. We'll see you next time. <laughs>